going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, y'all. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your weekly love reading. So guys, make sure you check out your entire month of September reading as well. The monthlies are separated by couples and singles. The weeklies are just general, so we'll just see what wants to come out here. Um, also, with the weeklies, I do answer a yes or no question for you guys here at the end. So throughout the reading, try to think of a yes or no question that you have for me so that I can answer that for you. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right. Let's do it, Cancer. First card out, the Three of Cups. Two of Wands, the Star, nice, the High Priestess, also nice, especially back to back with that Star, Queen of Pentacles, and the Fool, look at these Majors, Cancer. All right, here we go, guys. So this Three of Cups energy is going to be the energy that you yourself are taking on this week. So celebratory. Um, you could be out socializing, partying, having fun, whatever. You could be reuniting with somebody, right? If you're single, this is the energy of just like putting yourself out there, getting to know people, maybe meeting people through friends and family. Could even be an engagement if you are already in a relationship but it's just more so really nice friendly celebratory shit all right let's get one on this three of cups the moon pisces maybe celebrating with a pisces um maybe the next full moon is relevant for you you've also got the star look at this the moon the star the high priestess i love it more so though this is about all isn't revealed yet there's still some things that you don't know that are still hidden maybe you're still keeping some things hidden doesn't have to be anything bad it's just all isn't out there yet the page of swords new communication so Maybe somebody's about to hit you up and you don't know it yet. Maybe you're about to hit somebody up, but they don't know it yet. <laughs> this, is, this is like an investigative energy. Maybe you're checking on somebody. So whatever it is that you don't know, like maybe you met somebody through friends or at some kind of social gathering. You don't know everything about them, so you're, you know, being all investigator, checking their social media, whatever, trying to find out what this person's deal is so that you know if they're worthwhile or not. Maybe making sure that they're actually single, you know, that type of shit. Um, but anyway, this is new, honest communication coming in, whether you're single or with somebody. Recent past is the Two of Wands. This is a crossroads. It's the need to pick a path, you know, a direction, which you probably already did now that you're in this Three of Cups place here. In your present, you've got the star, Aquarius. This is universal blessings. It's wishes coming true. It's healing, rejuvenation. What is this star all about for you? What is this star? The hangman. Are you waiting for your wishes to come true, Cancer? <laughs> this is taking a really observational stance, really just trying to look at a situation from every angle before really doing anything about it. Maybe you wish for something and now it's here but you just kind of want to make sure it's not, you know, too good to be true. Doing your investigation, checking into the person, like, let me just wait and see what they're going to do before I really do anything here. Maybe somebody's looking at you that way. Maybe you have somebody watching you. Maybe somebody's checking out your social media, asking like your friends about you, you know? The seven of cups, lots of options if you're single. Otherwise, it's being confused, um, fantasizing, but not really taking any action because there isn't there isn't a clarity yet. There's still some confusion, like with the moon. That's that's that same kind of energy, you know. Shit, do not fall on the ground. And the eight of wands. Like I said, you if you're single, man, you've got options like out the ass. So many options here. Um, but with the Eight of Wands, this is Cupid's Arrows. This is about a lot of communication, 
real fast communication, internet shit, online shit, whatever. Um, lots of communication, lots of action can even be travel, but it's almost like you're waiting to find something out before taking any action or the other person is. But once that clarity comes, once that's out there, like once you guys have had a conversation, once you've talked about it, once you've kind of put it out there, then it takes off. Like that's it, it's, it's out there. Um, could be somebody at a distance, if so. It looks like somebody will be traveling to the person. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy um, could be dealing with an earth sign. Don't have to be, but this is somebody who is fully committed. If you're in a relationship, full on commitment. If you're not, you have somebody here that is looking for that or you are um, dependable, reliable, you know. But I have to say here before we get to your future, as a potential obstacle, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So it might be that this person is already in a relationship here, right? This is divine counterpart energy. This is like a committed union. So it's either going to be that you and this other person are not on the same level commitment wise, like you might not both want the same thing as far as a commitment or somebody might already be committed to somebody else here. This can be wife energy. This can be like a husband and wife here. Um, yeah, so if somebody's not already committed to another person and that's you know what you're still trying to find out, then it's gonna be like, there's gonna be some kind of differences with wanting to commit or the idea of commitment. Okay, in your immediate future, you've got the high priestess. This is just being on your shit intuitively, really listening to your intuition in a situation, really being, you know, spiritually healthy so that you can see whatever the signs the universe is trying to show you about this person, this connection. All right. Hangman is about spiritual enlightenment as well. Self-sacrifice, kind of taking yourself out of it for a minute so that you can see what's really going on. All right. What's this high priestess all about? The five of pentacles. This is about leaving someone out in the cold, rejecting someone. So if you feel intuitively like you should reject this person, listen to that. Okay? Um, this can also be if there's somebody involved that is already in another connection, like if that really is the problem, somebody's leaving somebody in the future. Let's get one on this Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So this is moving towards commitment, moving towards something committed, but very slow, like slow as fuck. Slow and steady, really cautious. So with the Knight of Pentacles facing this way towards the Five of Pentacles, it might be somebody going back to somebody that they left. You know what I mean? Um, but we have like a, we have differences here as far as maturity. We've got the king here. We've got the knight here. This is what I mean. Like you and the other person might not be on the same level as far as what you want out of a commitment or what you're able to provide out of a commitment. It might be somebody's more mature than the other one commitment wise or just more capable of putting forth more of a commitment than the other one. Make sense? Okay, your advice, guys, is the full Aries. This is about taking a chance, taking a risk. So we have a lot of energy here of contemplation, of really trying to be careful that you don't miss something about the person. You know, it's like you have to know every detail about them to know that they're safe, which is kind of like my mentality, so I get it. Um, but this is about kind of just taking a chance, taking a risk. And I don't, I mean, I don't advise doing that if somebody's already fucking married, obviously. But um, if they're not, and it's just like a difference of where you're at commitment wise, this is about just taking a chance, not thinking so far ahead. Um, it's the beginning of a whole new story here. Let's get one on this full energy. Oh shit, okay. The Empress, yes, okay. So here's the thing, Libra Taurus, by the way. The Empress is divine feminine. So either you are in that energy or you are dealing with somebody that is. It's about taking a chance 
But in doing so, in taking a chance and not thinking too far ahead here, just going with what you feel, um, there's growth. So this Empress is funny on this deck. So the Empress is all about abundance, prosperity, um, compassion, you know, being grounded, being healthy and stable. This chick on this Empress looks like she's fucking passed out and drunk, I swear. It's so funny to me. It's so funny. Maybe she's just like, you know, full because she has like all the food, all the wine. Um, because she's so abundant. We'll just go with that. Um, anyway, it's about growth. It's about watching something grow. Grow to where it's going to be. To its full potential. So by taking that chance, it actually does grow to where you want it to be. Okay? It does grow to that whole mature place that whole abundant mature grounded grown up kind of a connection i have to say too cancer if you are cancers that could potentially be pregnant or get somebody pregnant the fool with the empress here can be an unexpected unplanned pregnancy fyi all right y'all yes or no for my cancer friends yes or no Yes or no for my cancer friends. Look at you guys on the bottom of the deck there. Sweet. Anyway, yes or no, cancer. Yes or no. That's a no with the five of pentacles, and you also have that here. So I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys.